This will be a complete in-depth review of the Veteran Sherman. This is spec'd out to be the fastest wheel that's ever been made. It has the biggest battery capacity with the longest range. I'd like to thank eWheels and eRides for sponsoring this video. They're reputable distributors of these wheels where you can order and pre-order any of these wheels. Now, let's take a close look at this guy. The veteran team has secretly been working on the Sherman for almost a year, but only recently announced its existence. Inside, there's a 3200 watt hour battery powering a 2500 watt motor. This can take you up to speeds of 45 miles per hour with a max range of 130 miles. Somehow, they managed to double the battery capacity while still having a fairly slim design. The tire is almost 20 inches in diameter, but it's only about a half inch bigger than the other 18 inch tires I've seen. The pedals are long, skinny, and covered in the grippiest grip tape I've seen on any wheel. There's a steel roll cage that goes all the way up to the top, where you'll find a bright 18 watt headlight. And on the back, just above the brake light, there's dual charging ports which can fully recharge the wheel in about 4 hours. And on the top, there's a retractable trolley handle for your convenience. This wheel is clearly designed in a utilitarian way. There's just no frills, there's no speakers, no stupid LED. There's just no room for anything else but performance. Also, I should mention, it comes with a 5 amp charger, which can recharge the wheel in about 8 hours. So Veteran may be a new company, but their staff and engineers are not. This is not their first wheel, and it clearly shows in the quality of this product. This has like a, the first of its kind roll cage. I think it, it should survive, which is more than I can say about some of the plastic housings out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. It cracked the housing. This is a wheel that does not want to be tamed inside. So let's take this outside. No, you can't do that. Do some acceleration tests back to the old stomping ground. I have essentially a full battery. The voltage is 99.8 volts right now. You ready for this? Go! Oh my god! This thing is an animal. This is insanely fast. All right, let's do this again. Oh yeah! Woo. I'm noticing that the pedals are slightly dipping forward. You know, I think that can be fixed in firmware, but you know, it's not that, it's not a deal breaker for me. Oh yeah, feels so good. So I heard beeping before I hit the speed bump, which means one of two different things. It means either I overloaded it, or I hit 45 miles an hour for that point. Alright, it's time. We're gonna do some general agility testing right now. ridiculously stable. I'm not getting any wobbles. I don't understand how it can be so balanced and so easy to maneuver. I think the magic behind this wheel is that the weight of the battery is really equally distributed around the axle. The only issue with the high speed turning is not wobbles, which is the usual problem with most wheels, but this wheel has the challenge of the pedals clipping.
All right, well, they're gonna kick me out over there. I'll talk over here about the amenities. I'm gonna go into the shade, I can't do this. First thing, these pedals are pretty much exactly the way that I want. They're long, they're narrow, and they're slightly tilted upward, and they're held up by magnets. Right now, there's not an app that goes with this, but you can do all the stuff you need on this display. Using the display, you can reset the trip meter, set the pedal response, adjust the pedal angle, set the pedal tilting speed, alarm speed, backlight brightness, and calibrate the wheel. So while this thing was not designed for convenience, I'm really happy they decided to include a trolley handle because carrying this thing is miserable, but having a trolley handle is so much better than not having a trolley handle. And it's about at the right height. Also, there's no main, you can't use this handle, it doesn't latch at the bottom area, so you can't pick it up with this thing. You gotta use both hands on the outside to pick this thing up. You're gonna have to shut it off first. Ugh. Then, ugh. this is the worst thing to carry of all wheels. Not convenient, but this thing was made for riding. line acceleration is ridiculous. It's not right. So in control on the street. This thing has torque all the way up to 45 miles an hour. It's awesome. It almost feels like a jetpack. Woo! I can boost through everything. I'm in love with this wheel. Most of the time when I'm taking high speed turns, I'm not clipping my pedals, but it is in the back of my mind one of the concerns. Thunder coming, so I'm gonna head back. 
recharge this thing and then head back out later. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, I just felt some rain drops. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I don't want to get stuck in the rain. After about 30% battery life droppage, I'm noticing the beeping is coming a little bit earlier. It happens around 40 miles an hour rather than like 43. All the rain is coming. What it really needs is a mud guard. I'm fully prepared for this thing to start spraying my ass. number 114 kilometers
Well, well, well please show you eat Indian. I speak English. Oh, I can speak English. Uh, which class? This is veteran. This, you want one? I would be cool though. Can I take one photo? Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. No Thank problem. you. You're a professional dancer. You're a professional dancer. This is really fantastic. It's really good. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's Do like, you mind if I'm doing one dancing? You join with me. I can't dance. No, you not dance. You just play this. What do you think? It's yeah. very fashionable. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be on a video. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. Oh, really? <laughs> you just go ahead. Let, me, right. let me enjoy it. Let me see your show. Alright, you want to see uh, riding? <laughs> oh, shit. In conclusion, this is a beast of a wheel. It has top speed, it has range, it has handling, all of which are probably at the top of its class. I would have assumed that a heavy wheel like this would not be able to be so agile. It doesn't feel fast, it doesn't ride fast. It's just so well balanced. It feels like a katana that's very well balanced. And it's very nimble, but also you can have a nice flow. Not that I can control the swords. And also, when I break, there's just no wobbles. No wobbles. The acceleration is really good, but I would say that the MSP still has better momentary torque. The pedals are pretty damn comfortable. The ergonomics, the shape, and the grip tape, almost are all perfect. The only issue that I have with them is pedal scraping. That might be something that they fixed in the second batch. So in terms of convenience, this is where the veteran does not do so well. There's no spin kill button, there's no main central handle, but it does come with a trolley handle, which is nice. While the knobby tire does give you better traction off-roading, this is not really gonna be my off-roading wheel. It's just a little bit too heavy. It's really optimized for the street, and I don't know why they put a knobby tire on. One of the things I'm gonna change is the tire. I find it a little noisy. I have basically the same tire on the MSP and it rides like shit on the street. And that makes me think that if I switch out this tire with a street tire, it's gonna even be crazier on the street. So freaking good at high speeds. So this thing starts beeping around 70 kilometers an hour, which is about 44 miles an hour. And basically, I would say that that is the top speed. I wouldn't really push it beyond that point. I think it's dangerous. When I'm riding at 45 miles an hour, it's really comfortable. I have this false sense of comfort because it's so controllable that if something unexpected happens, like that, you are going to seriously get hurt or maybe even killed. So do not not wear protection. Wear knee pads, elbow pads, a full face helmet, wrist guards, everything that I'm not doing right now. We don't need more lawmakers to have a reason to ban these things. So. Gear up and don't hurt yourself. If you ride like a normal person, you probably can get over 100 miles of range on this thing. If you ride at the top speed, you're probably looking between 50 and 70 miles. So at the end of the day, the veteran Sherman is a beast on the street with like no frills and no convenience. I would say that more or less this wheel does not feel heavy unless you have to pick it up or go over repeated bumps. While it's still pretty comfortable to ride, it's not as cushy as the wheels with suspension. After this, my next video I'm gonna be working on is the InMotion D11 versus the Kingsong S18, both of which have had suspension upgrades. Because this thing is so heavy and it goes so fast, I would not recommend this wheel for beginners. I can totally see all the extreme street riders gravitating to this wheel just because it has exceptional street performance. I'm really, really happy with this wheel. This is Veteran's first wheel, and I'm excited to see what they're gonna come up with next because this is phenomenal. And if you're looking to get this wheel, I'll leave links down below at eWheels and eRides where you can check it out. Ready? Yeah. I'll be careful. Just makes me wanna go outside.